This code terrifies me. It's the good old view router configuration where we import all of our components, set the paths, and add any other data we need. But it's been like this for years, so what's wrong with it? Well, first, it's just a bunch of boilerplate code where someone like me is gonna mess something up, spend a few hours out of my career, and eventually find a typo somewhere down in here. Not ideal. And second, I think it makes your code base more difficult to navigate. I see a bunch of components in the pages directory, but in order to find the URL for them, I have to go into a different router file. And things like this is why libraries like vplug and pages are so popular, because it adds file-based routing, into your VDAP. But for us ViewDAs, we have something even better, Unplug in View Router, which not only adds file-based routing, but automatic types for your routes. Before we take a look at how to use it, I can already see the just use Nux comments incoming, but the reality is that a majority of view devs are still building client-side rendered apps, probably with V. So if we install Unplug in View Router and add it to the V config before View, all we have to do is go to our old router file and change this import from View Router to View Router slash auto. And now we can recondo this create router and remove all of these routes because our new plugin will automatically create them for you based off our source slash pages folder. And if you're new to file-based routing, here's a quick rundown of some of the basics. Files called index.view will be simplified out to a slash. We can use square brackets to create route parameters and double square brackets to make them optional. And we can use an ellipses and a route param to create a catch-all route. Those are just some of the most common features, but I'll leave a link to the docs below so you can check out everything. But once we have a few routes set up, we can see the cool part. Let's go to our user slash ID page. And if we say use route like we usually would and start passing it a string, we'll see a full list of the routes registered in our app. If we pick the one for this file, this route object is now typed. We can say route.params and we'll see that ID is part of this params type. This is some TypeScript magic that I can't even pretend to understand, but it gets even cooler. If we want to programmatically navigate between pages with router.push, we also get this autocomplete for the route. And just because we're using file-based routing doesn't mean we're going to be limited in any way. You can use extend routes to manually add things, or in your pages components, you can use define page to customize things like meta info. If you like writing less code and want a better way to handle routing, the link for this plugin's in the description. Have fun with it and subscribe if you haven't. See you.